I wanted to remind you of how to write the equation of a line when you're given two points. And so it starts off with finding the slope. And remember, the slope is the difference of the y's, or y2 minus y1, divided by the difference of the x's, x2 minus x1. And so we're going to label the points that are given to us. We're going to label this one x1, y1, and we're going to label this one x2, y2. And then we'll go ahead and put the points into the formula. m is equal to negative 5 minus negative 2, and that's going to be divided by negative 1 minus negative 4. And uh, so that's going to become negative 5, and this is plus and plus, so that becomes negative 5 plus 2 divided by negative 1, and this is plus and plus, um, so that's negative 1 plus 4. Well, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. So negative 3 divided by positive 3, 3 cancels 3, and becomes 1, so this becomes negative 1. So we have a slope of negative 1. Well, what's the equation of a line? y equals mx plus b. And um, y equals mx plus b. So now what we do is um, replace what we know. We know what m is, so we're going to say y equals negative x plus b. I don't have to write the negative 1. I could just say negative x, and that's just kind of making you look smarter when you can do that. All right? Now, the next thing to do is we're going to find b, but we're going to do that by using one of the, the coordinates of the points. So we've got negative 4, negative 2 works for x and y. So we're going to replace y with the negative 2, and we're going to replace x with negative 4. And then we're going to put plus b. So minus negative 4 becomes a positive 4. So we really have negative 2 is equal to 4 plus b. So in order to get b by itself, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. And when I do negative 2 minus 4, I get negative 6. And that's equal to b. So I have what b is now. So I can rewrite this equation, y equals negative x minus 6. And there is the equation of the line that works for this problem. We're going to do this again with another set of points. Here I have a point at 2 comma 3 and another point at negative 1 comma negative 1. We're going to write the equation of the line through these two points. And we'll start off by labeling the first point with x1, y1, and the other point x2, y2. And we'll use the equation of the slope uh, in order to calculate the, uh, the, the slope of this line. So negative 1 is my y2. I'm going to subtract from it 3, which is y1. And I'm going to subtract uh, from x2, which is negative 1. I'm going to subtract 2, which is my x1. All right, so I've got negative 1 minus 3, that's negative 4, and I have negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3. Well, negative over negative, that makes positive 4 over 3. So my slope is 4 over 3. Now, what's the equation of a line? y equals mx plus b, and now we can rewrite that knowing that we know what the slope is. So y equals 4 thirds x plus b. Okay, we're going to solve for b, but we need to use one of the points because the points are what give us truth for this particular equation. So we're going to use the uh, 2 and the 3 because x is 2 when y is 3, and we're going to replace x and y with those points. So we've got y is 3, 
when x is 2 plus b. And so we've just rewritten that again. And now we're going to do our multiplication. Well, that 2 is 2 over 1. So that makes multiplying fractions 4 times 2 over 3 times 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3 plus b. And this is 3. So I need to get b by itself. So I'm going to subtract 8 thirds from both sides. So this looks like this now. 3 minus 8 over 3 is equal to, this gives it, it takes away the 8 over 3, and we just have b. So that's equal to b. This is a 3 over 1, and we need to make the denominators the same. I need a 3, so I'm going to multiply the bottom here by 3. That means I have to multiply the top by 3. I end up with 3 times 3 is 9 minus 8 all over 3. And that's equal to b. Well, 9 minus 8, that's 1 over 3 is b. So I can rewrite now this equation of the line. y equals 4 thirds x and my plus 1 third because b is 1 third. And there's the equation of the line. So I'm going to do that again and just show you that it doesn't really matter which point that we use, so we'll use the other point. So I'm going to write this again, and I'm going to write it this way, that y is equal to negative 1 when 4 thirds times x, which is negative 1, is added to b. And that's just rewriting y equals mx plus b. So this turns into negative 1 is equal to negative 4 over 3 plus b, and I need to get b by itself, so I'm going to add 4 thirds to both sides, and I get negative 1 plus 4 over 3 is equal to b. So 1 is really 1 over 1. I need the same denominator, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3. So I get negative 3 over 3 plus 4 over 3. Well, that's like saying negative 3 plus 4 is 1, and that's all over 3 is equal to b. Okay, that's b. So we're going to rewrite that, uh, that last part. We're going to just rewrite this again and write y equals 4 thirds x plus 1 third. And there it is again, our equation of the line. There, you've seen how to do this on a couple of problems uh, with these sets of points. Um, you should try these sets of points, the same ones, and compare your results with my results and see if you get the same thing. If you don't, then figure out what you're doing incorrectly or come in and ask me and uh, we can figure this out together. All right? Talk to you later.